What is going on guys, Willis Gaming here. Just a quick thing before the video begins, to celebrate the launch of Destiny 2 Forsaken, I am giving away a digital deluxe edition of the game. All you have to do to enter is like the video, leave a comment down below, make sure you subscribe to the channel with bell notifications turned on. Also, don't forget to enter through the link in the video description, it's at the very top. Enter through there as well so all of your entries are counted. That's how I'm going to be choosing the winner. So in the Digital Deluxe Edition, what do you get? You pretty much get the Annual Pass, the Awoken Legend set, and the Cade's Exotic Stash. So definitely go and enter. It literally takes seconds and you can get yourself a free edition of the game. So yeah, I'll see you guys in this video. What is going on guys? Willis Gaming here. We are back again with another Destiny 2 video. In this video guys we're going to be showing you how to get the chaperone, um, the new exotic shotgun or the returning exotic shotgun from Destiny 1 in Forsaken. So this is actually a data mined uh, quest so all of the steps are probably going to stay the same. So if you're watching this when Forsaken is already out it's probably going to be exactly the same on what you need to do. So definitely drop a like on the video if you guys enjoy it, it helps you out and share it with a friend if you want to show them how to complete the quest. And if you are obviously watching this pre Forsaken and you don't want any spoilers, now's your warning to click away in case you want it spoiled. So let's actually take a look at the Chaperone Exotic Shotgun. It's a very unique shotgun that came in Destiny 1 and it's very cool because it's a precision shotgun which pretty means it fires a slug round like a single precision round, it's not like a spread shot. Um, and also it has an exotic perk called Roadburn. Precision kills briefly grant bonus handling range and precision damage with this weapon. Um, honestly, it was never a really good PvE weapon. Um, it was mainly used in PvP for people who wanted to do like montages and stuff and just show off, I guess, with the shotgun. Because it was extremely hard to hit um, headshots with this thing and it was kind of annoying. But uh, yeah, let's just jump straight onto the quest line. So obviously, um, you know that this is the Amanda Holiday weapon, the shipwright. This is her like family tree shotgun, and it basically evol revolves around her and her like family. I don't know the exact story behind it, but I'm pretty sure it's a gun that was like handed down to Amanda. But pretty much, the first step is to visit Amanda Holiday in the tower which is called Holiday Family History. The second step is to uh, get Crucible kills. Um, and you pretty much just need to get 20 shotgun kills in the Crucible. So just use a shotgun and get 20 kills. Um, the next step is to defeat uh, Guardians in the Crucible with Arc, Solar and Void uh, damage. So this is obviously um, going to be a bit tougher because I'm not sure if it's 500 kills for each or maybe if you get like 5 points per kill or something, but it looks like you need 500 kills with Solar, 500 kills with Void, and 500 kills with Arc. That's probably going to be the longest part of the quest step. Um, the next is to get Gambit kills. So obviously you need to go into Gambit and you need to kill enemy players in a Gambit. So when you're invading them, you need to make sure you get like around 15 kills. Obviously it doesn't need to be in the same match, but 15 Guardian kills in total in Gambit. And then I'm guessing you just need to finish by visiting Amanda Holiday in the tower. Um, the original one had you wait until reset. So maybe you'll need to like wait until reset to actually pick up your shotgun. But that's pretty much all of the steps you need to do. Um, a tip for doing the um, arc, solar and void ones in the crucible. Obviously switch to the correct element subclass so you can get these quicker. I'm guessing it's wanting you to use the new subclasses just to get them kills a bit quicker but if you're on the right subclass this will definitely make up one of the others go up faster so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video that's how to get the chaperone exotic shotgun drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video remember to turn on subscriber post notification guys so you do not miss a video it's the little bell icon next to the subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video this has been willis gaming and peace